Let's see how hands-on equations can enable your students to meet this third grade Common Core math standard. The standard says solve two-step word problems, that's the first part, and secondly represent those problems using an equation with a letter standing for the unknown. We're going to illustrate the process with an example taken from the hands-on equations verbal problems introductory workbook. The problem says two boxes of pencils and three loose pencils yield a total of 13 pencils. How many pencils are in each box? The approach we would like to take is to translate the problem into a concrete or pictorial representation. In order to do that, we're going to write a let statement. Two boxes of pencils and three loose pencils give a total of 13 pencils. This pawn represents the number of pencils on a, in the first box, this one the number of pencils in the second box, this represents the three loose pencils, and altogether you're going to have a total of 13 pencils. Now to solve this we can do this either by inspection. If this side is a 13 and this is a 3, both of these pawns must be 10 and each one is 5. Or a student can also do legal moves, although that's not required for this particular standard, but you could remove a 3 value from this side and a 3 value from this side. In any case, we see that two pawns are 10 and therefore each one is going to be 5. So let's write down pawn is equal to 5. Since pawn represents the number of pencils in each box, we're now ready to write the answer to our problem. We can say there are five pencils in each box. We also need to do the check, so we're going to reset the original pictorial setup. Two boxes of pencils and three loose pencils give you a total of 13 pencils. And if we do that, we see we have 5, 10, 13, and this side is 13, so both sides have the value of 13. Now what I did here pictorially, your students in your class could also do concretely using their game pieces. Now we're ready to go on to the second part of the problem, which says represent these problems using an equation with the letter standing for the unknown. So let's see how we would write our abstract equation for this verbal problem. What we're going to do is give the pawn the name of x. Now we need to be aware that whenever we have pieces on a balance scale they're additive. And so the equation is simply x plus x plus 3 equal 10 plus 3. So one way to write the equation would be x plus x, sorry about that, x plus x plus 3 equal 10 plus 3. Of course, you can also write x plus x plus 3 equal 13, or if you want to, you can even write 2x, right? We have a total of 2x's here. x plus x is 2x, so we have 2x plus 3 equal 13. Any of these equations would be a legitimate representation for this problem using an equation with a letter standing for the unknown. So let's sum up. In order to meet this standard, the recommendation we are making is that the student first translate the problem into a concrete or pictorial representation and then use that representation to go to the abstract equation. By the way, I'm sure you are aware that the task of taking an abstract verbal problem and representing it with an abstract algebraic equation is not a simple task. And yet this standard is asking third graders to be able to do that. But this skill is also one that is needed by your fourth graders, fifth graders, and even your middle school students. And the, uh, the approach that we have suggested here is an excellent approach. And in our hands-on equations training, we go into these ideas in more detail. 
This is Dr. Henry Borenson. I hope this has been of help to you. Thank you.